Get with me, I gotta preach full time today. Hallelujah. John 12, you got it? Stand to your feet and signify by saying amen. John 12 and 1. Powerful text, powerful, rich. John 12 and 1. We're gonna read now this text responsibly from verses 1 through 8. John 12, 1 through 8. Then, six days before the Pas Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, important, where Lazarus was, who had been dead, whom he had raised from the dead. Then Mary took a pound of very costly oil of spikenard, anointing the feet of Jesus, this is important, sisters, and wipe his feet with her hair, important. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Why wasn't this fragrant oil not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? All together, but Jesus said, "Let her alone. She has kept this for the day of my burial." Continue, verse eight. The word of the Lord. You may be seated. I want to preach today in light of this this powerful text from the lectionary today, from the motif, the subject, the proof is in the sacrifice. The proof is in the sacrifice. The proof is in the sacrifice. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the message. The proof is in the sacrifice. God, thank you for what you showed me in light of this text. Thank you for the revelations that you're flowing to this vessel, that you're feeding my spirit, that I may feed your people. Speak now, dear God, with power, with clarity, as well as conviction. If there's anybody here today who has never claimed Christ as the Savior and the Lord of their life, I pray that this preached word will inspire them to give their hearts to Jesus Christ. I pray that the people of faith will be edified the name of Christ will be glorified. Bless this house this afternoon. In Jesus' sweet name, we pray, we thank you, and we love you. Let us all say amen. amen. The proof is in the sacrifice. Look at somebody next to you and tell them the proof, the proof. is in the sacrifice. Oh, hallelujah. Now, if you need to run, run now. Don't say I didn't warn you. But the proof is in the sacrifice. How much we love Christ is demonstrated by the acts of sacrifice we show for him. Here's what Christ said from his own lips. He said, no greater love and a man have than this that he laid down his life for his friend. Watch this. I love to tell the story of the man who was boasting to his girlfriend on the telephone. He, was say, he said, honey, I love you so much. I love you more higher than every, the highest mountain in the world. He said, honey, I love you deeper than the lowest valley. And then he said, honey, I love you more than there are stars in the sky. And then he said, honey, 
I love you so much, but however, I wouldn't come over to see you tonight if it wasn't raining so bad. <laughs> the proof is in the sacrifice. Now watch this, watch this. In order to understand our text today, watch this. By the way, by virtue of Mark 14 and 3, I did my research, you'll discover that really in reality, this account takes place in the house of Simon the leper, who was once already healed by Jesus. This miracle, according to Mark 14 and 3, really transpires in the house of Simon the leper. I got time to look at it, but look at it when you get a chance. Amen. Write it down. Mark 14 and 3. It demonstrates the same pericope is found in, watch this, that body of verses in Mark 14, which illustrates that it really took place in the house of, amen, Simon the leper. But watch this. Why did Jesus go to Bethany? Stick with me, Mike. I'm going to read Paul and Prescription on the screen. Watch this. Why did Jesus go to Bethany at this time? And I've got an answer for you. Don't forget that this is John the 12th chapter. Pull off for me, amen, John 11.53. Why did Jesus go to Bethany at this time? There's a key reason why he went to Bethany. John 11.53, beautiful, thank you so much. Let's read this together, let's read. Watch this. Skip down there for me. Watch this. The four more verses. Verse 57. Don't forget now. We're in chapter 12 now. This is, watch this. This is, this is John 11, 53. Right. Now I'm going to show you why he went to Bethany. Okay? Watch this. All right. Now, it said they're trying to kill him. All right? Watch this. Now, verse 57. Read. Why, why did Jesus, at the, and during this time, go to Bethany? Here it is. Jesus decided to go to Bethany. Watch why? Because Jesus went where he was celebrated, not where he'd be eliminated. Because he knew, watch this, at this time, amen, certain places, they're out to get him. And you know, I've learned a lesson, amen. Stop going places where you know folk hating on you. Come on through, McCann. So stop going to play where you know folk don't like you. And for God's sake, don't eat for nobody who know you don't like you. No telling what they would do with that food back then in the back room. If you got to stay home during Thanksgiving and have peanut butter and jelly, stay home. Stop going to place where you know folk don't like you. Go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. Jesus went to Bethany. Why? Because, watch this, Bethany was his place where he knew folk right there loved him. Mary and Martha, Amen, and Simon and Lazarus, they love him. And I've learned the lesson, you know, it pays to stick with your, old, with your true friends and your old friends. There are people, Amen, who didn't like you, Amen, in fact, all of a sudden you start doing good, Amen, they want your cell number. They want your email address. They want your Twitter connection. They want you to join them on MySpace. Come on through, McCann. But when you had nothing, they didn't have nothing to do with you. Hallelujah. Stick with the folk, hallelujah, who stuck with you when you had nothing. Preach on, McCann. Well, this lesson, this Bible, these few verses, it's rich with pointers. There are several profound and powerful and prophetic lessons that we glean from just these eight verses of scriptures. And I want to go right to them very quickly. Lesson number one, remember this. Whenever you get you set out to do right for God, whenever you start and you start all of a sudden start doing things for the Lord's kingdom, believe me, there are going to be some folk who will criticize you. There's going to be some folk who are going to hate on you. Now, when you're out there in the world going to the club, 
as a young folks and when you out there clubbing nobody said nothing now you come in the church and you worship the Lord amen niggas so why you in church so long when I would do good evil is around me all around when you out there almost losing your life nobody said nothing now they gonna question you why you going to church why you praise the Lord like why you reading that Bible all the time why because the Lord saved you hallelujah the Lord blessed you he reached down and pulled you out of the muck and that's why I got to praise him I got to raise my crazy praise so when you set out to do good for the Lord watch me now hear me good there's always gonna be some critics watch this who will act who will act like they're spiritual why are you giving that money to the building fund? Come on through, McCann. Come on through. You set out to do what's right. There's always going to be some critics on the sideline trying to block your blessings. Well, watch this. Lesson number two. Watch this. I love this. This is a, you'll love this. Watch this. Another lesson here in this text. We should show love to people before they die. Y'all ain't ready. Let me just try it again. By the way, I've been doing a funeral for so long. Watch this. You know what I learned the lesson? Catch this. I learned that there's some folk watch this at the funeral. They holler and screaming so much. Why? You know, because they're guilty. That, that's a guilt cry. Give me my flowers while I can smell them. Watch this. Watch this. I love to tell my story. Watch the story of the woman. Her name was Aunt Sally. Everybody say Aunt Sally. Aunt Sally loved collard greens. Somebody say collard greens. Aunt Sally died. Watch this. Aunt Sally died. And watch this. At Aunt Sally's funeral, everybody was coming and bringing all kinds of flowers. Bringing flowers. Watch this. But Aunt Sally had a best friend by the name of Susan. Susan cooked the pot of collard greens. And came in and sat it right there in the middle of the funeral, right there in the front. And people said, what, what in the world? Everybody bringing flowers in. But Susan brought a big old pot of collard greens and set them right there in the middle of the front of the casket. And so she says, this is praising God while the preacher preaching. And, and watch this. And the whole funeral home was smelling up with the collard green. The funeral home smelled like collard green. Later on at the repast, people says that people was trying to restrain from asking Susan, what, what's, all, what's up with you, kind of green at the funeral home? Finally, somebody broke and said, 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 Susan, what's going on? Why you bring collard greens to the funeral home? She said, well, Sally, she liked collard greens. Y'all were bringing flowers. She can't smell them flowers, but maybe she can smell my collard greens. <laughs> you bring all them flowers while she dead. She can't smell, she can smell them flowers. Give me my flowers now while I can smell them. Watch this. Watch this. Mary, don't forget now, this is Mary who's the sister of Martha. As well as, watch this, amen, the sister of Lazarus. She, watch this, she sees that Christ is going to the cross. She anoints him while he's alive. The lesson is powerful. If you plan on doing something for somebody, do it now. If you got a mother, love her now. You got a father, bless your father now. Bless your child now. Bless this church now. Let me tell you something. I become grieved how I look at these young folk talking sassy back to their parents. Talking all nasty. Now you know, watch this now, if, you, if you're reading that one year Bible, the, the word says, watch this, that if a child is out of order, they, if you disrespect your parents, you would die. They would kill them. I think we ought to go back the old way. Hey man, kill him. Kill some of these kids, I'll kill you. My father, Pat, had, he had a motto. He said, I brought you in the world and I'll take you out of here. That was good. 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 
Watch this, watch this. My sister Frances, watch this, got to talk about she gonna leave the house, you leave, I'm getting out of here. My father said, fine. He threw up the window, said, hey, take this way, this way right here. This way, don't go that way, out the window, go out this way. So I said, woo. I said, wow. I said, I'll never say that one. Give me my flowers while I can smell them. Watch this. Brother, love your wife now. Love her. Love her. Sister, love your man now. Give him all the love. When daddy come home, amen, stop, drop the pots. Hallelujah. Celebrate that the king is home. Meet the king at the door, baby. Come on here. Y'all ain't liking me. Y'all ain't... Have the dog, the cat, amen. Daddy is home. Y'all ain't liking this. Greet the king. Brother, you got a wife. Celebrate that sweet queen. Hallelujah. Bless her. Hallelujah. Bless her life. Treasure her. I tell my wife, I said, look at here. When I'm gone, that's it. But while, but while I'm here, I'm going to bless you. Hallelujah. I'm going to celebrate you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And when I'm gone, celebrate my past and you move on. Somebody say amen. amen. But watch this. Give me my flowers while I can smell them. Mary didn't wait until after Jesus died. But she celebrated him while he was alive. Now you don't like this, but watch this, but this is deep. You check the facts. This is what Sharpton was talking about. A lot of folk during the days of Dr. King didn't like him. It's a fact. Many preachers hated on him. In fact, I'm going to shock you with another point. Watch this. The convention that we are part of our convention put Dr. King out. Oh, have mercy. They put him out. Dr. King used to be president of our Congress. In fact, that's how the convention watched a split. There's a book out called Part of the Waters. The book tells about the split, how what they didn't like Dr. King. And so don't be, don't be aiming how people so so hard to hold Dr. King. Some of our own people didn't like him while he was alive. Watch this. When you got something good going on, you ought to thank God for it. Hallelujah. You got a good church, thank God for your church. You got a good wife, thank God for your wife. You got a good mother, thank God for him. While you are alive. Watch this, watch this. I was in Africa. In, in Swaziland. The women greet the men on their knees. Like this. So, I didn't know. So, I'm just used to these European women putting their hands on a hip on me and all this stuff. And you know, and it's just like this stuff. So, so I got there in Swaziland, woman on her knees. I, I said, get, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Dr. Harvey said, no, 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 no. That's how they greet the men here. They greet the men with respect, with honor. I said, Lord, have mercy. I said, they need to come and do a workshop, amen, right in Harlem. Come on through, McCann. If you got a man, sister, celebrate that boo, hallelujah. But give him his flowers while he can smell them. Cook breakfast for him now. How, yo, what, where my amens? I told you, you should have ran 30 minutes ago. Let me move off of that poem. Move off that point. Well, watch this. Number three, watch this. We should always render our best for Jesus. Watch this. We should always render our best 
for Jesus. I'm going to shock you if you watch the thing. You probably never heard before. Watch this. It dawned on me that Mary, this is Mary, this is not Mary Magdalene. This is Mary, the sister of Martha, and also the sister of Lazarus. Now, this is deep. Watch where I'm going with this. Watch this. Mary, watch this, rendered her best for who? Watch this. Don't forget, Lazarus had just recently died. Y'all ain't ready. Somebody see it already. Watch this. Guess what? When her brother died, she didn't pull out that old oh, amen for her brother. Y'all ain't ready. Good God Almighty. She didn't give that all to her brother. She saved the best for Jesus. Good God Almighty. You want to save your best for Christ. Your best praise. Your best service for the Lord. Her own brother died. She didn't give it to him. But she held it for Jesus. Watch this. And gave it to him while he was alive. Well, not only that, watch this. Watch out for those, this is the fourth lesson, watch this. For those who try to act pious, but have ungodly motives in their hearts. Y'all missed it. I said, watch out for those who try to act pious and righteous, but inwardly, watch this, they have hidden agendas that are ungodly. Listen to Judas. Why was this fragrant oil not sold for 300 denarii? Don't forget, Bible students, Judas was the treasurer. He held the bag. He counted the money. Watch this. This, this should have been given to the poor because the text says he was a thief and had the money box. Watch this. Watch out for those who try to act pious and righteous, but have ungodly motives in their heart. You see, there are people watching this who try to come to you and act religious. Oh, praise the Lord. Let me hold a hundred dollars. You know, they'll, they'll come to you with a prayer. Hey. They'll try to push up on you all. Oh, God bless you. And even quote a scripture. But yet, they have a hidden agenda. So watch out for folk who try to act pious, but deep down in their heart, their motives are ungodly. Well, let me tell you something very quickly. Watch this in regards to what I mean by the proof is in the sacrifice. The spikenard oil, watch this, it was imported only from one place. It came from the mountains of India. You can't find this nowhere else. That, that kind of oil was found in the mountains of India, on the top of the mountains. And the very fact that this oil came from the mountains of India, that's why the very fact, watch this, it was expensive. In fact, Bible scholars argue that this oil, watch this, was one year's salary. What? One year's salary. She took it, watch this, and gave it to Jesus. Phil is anointing, good God Almighty. Watch this, watch this. By the way, spike night oil, spike night oil, watch this, was only used for kings. Only for kings. In other words, Mary was anointing Jesus as the Messiah King. Good God Almighty, hallelujah. She saw him as the Messiah King. Good God Almighty. How much you really love God is demonstrated and your sacrifice for him. You want to know why Mary Magdalene was marked present at the tomb? Because watch this. To whom much is given, much is required. Jesus had cast out demons in her. If God has blessed you, if God has held back the forces of hell, how could you sit there and act like the Lord ain't done nothing? Honey, you ought to raise your praise. Don't let nobody hamper your praise. If you know what God has done for you, you got to praise him. God done took you off of welfare. Hallelujah. You ought to be shouting right about hallelujah. He done reached back and pulled back, amen, you from the gates of hell. You got to raise your praise. Somebody shout the proof, proof. is in the sacrifice. 
watch this. Dr. Turner, the men who sacrificed for David, this is deep, catch this, Chris. Here's what David declared. 2 Samuel 23 and 15 to 17 says this. And David said with longing, oh, that someone would give me a drink of water from the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. Watch this. So the three mighty men broke through the camp of the Philistines, drew water from the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate, and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, he would not drink it, but poured it out to the Lord. And he said, far be it from me, O Lord, that I should do this. Is this not the blood for the men who went in jeopardy of their lives? Therefore, he would not drink it. These things were done by the three mighty men. The proof, the proof is in the sacrifice. Could you imagine that David is in Bethlehem and he says, oh, that I have a drink from the well of the wells of Bethlehem. Three mighty men while put their lives on the line, broke through, got the water, and David pours it out. Wow. Good God. He said, I can't drink something that almost will cost them their lives. The proof is in the sacrifice. Watch this, watch this. The woman at Shunem who sacrificed and blessed Elijah the prophet, she tells her own husband. Watch this, 2 Kings 4, 9 and 10 says this. And she said to her husband, look now, I know that this is a holy man of God who passes us by regularly. Here's what she said. Please let us make a small upper room on the wall and let us put a bed for him there and a table and a chair and a lampstand so it'll be whenever he comes to us, he can turn in there. The proof is in the sacrifice. Watch this, you Bible scholars. Catch this. David demonstrated that the proof is in the sacrifice. This is what he said to the king. The king said to Arona, 2 Samuel 24, 24 says this. The king said to Arona, no, but I will surely buy it from you for a price. Nor will I offer burnt offerings to the Lord my God with that which cost me nothing. So David brought the threshing floor and oxen for 50 shekels of silver. The proof is in the sacrifice. Well, anything that you desire to achieve for God, remember this. The proof is in the sacrifice. Look, look at me real good. Watch this. If you want your education, watch me now. Some of you right now, you're constantly going back to school. If you really want your education, the bottom line is this. Watch this. The proof is in the sacrifice. Watch this. There could be, be some late nights. You got to stay up. Stay up late and get up real early. You got to read some books. You got to write some papers. In fact, you're going to stand in some long lines that are wrap around the whole campus. But the proof is in the sacrifice. Watch this. Watch this. Some of you tired of being where you are right now. You start, you say, I want a house. I want to get a house. I stopped by to tell you today. You want a house? The proof is in the sacrifice. Watch this. Now watch this. There are many other cultures. Tell you what they'll do. They'll put nine families in one bedroom. Y'all ain't ready. Lord have mercy. I ain't gonna call them. I ain't gonna. They'll put nine families in a one bedroom apartment with no color TV on a hard floor with no bed and nobody's and nobody complaining and then turn around and buy up a grocery store or even a meat market or a fruit market but watch this they made some sacrifices the proof is in the sacrifice and we'll go there and support them and we own nothing y'all ain't liking me lord have mercy watch this you, you want to run that marathon the proof you want to run 26.2 miles? You got the diet. Somebody say amen. You got to cut back on that bread. 
that fried chicken. Y'all ain't gonna say amen. Them Dunkin' Donuts. You can't run no marathon, amen, eating hamburgers and ham hock. The proof is in the sacrifice. Watch this. You want to lose some weight? The proof. Yo, where my amens at now? Is in the sacrifice. St. Luke, you want to achieve this vision? You want to make this happen? You want to take this from Vision Street to Amen, the Fruition Boulevard? The proof is in the sacrifice. Well, I'm almost done. Here it is. Let's take a good look very quickly, very quickly, of how Mary demonstrated her sacrifice. And I believe, catch this, Monique, watch it, the same kind of sacrifice that Mary made is what God is calling us to do for him today. First of all, Mary gave her best. That's all God asks you to do every day. Give your best. Make sure whatever you give God, give him your best. Don't come in here shucking and jiving. Don't come in here amen, amen slothful and dragging. And it's amazing how I watch it, watch it. You, when you work on your job, amen, some of you, you got your think cap on. I mean, you working hard for Caesar. Oh, you making it happen. You all, oh, whatever the boss says, oh, we'll do, we'll do it. But in this strain, we come into church. Our standards of excellence go out the back door. McCann, you preaching better than they saying amen. Come on through, hallelujah. Mary gave her best. All God asks for us to do every day, give God your best. Give him your best. Watch this. But not only did she give her best, but Mary, she gave generously. I told you now, it was one year of sacrifice, of a salary. She gave, she wasn't cheap with the Lord. You can't be cheap with God. You, you gotta give, you gotta be generous. The Bible said the liberal soul shall be made fat. Hallelujah, stretch out on the Lord. Be generous, you gotta come with a strong seed. Sow your best seed. Good God Almighty. That's what God asks us to do, to be generous in our giving. But then thirdly, and I'm almost done. Watch this. I love this. This is hard to do. Not only did she give her best, not only did Mary give, watch this, generously, but also, watch this, Mary gave despite criticism. Y'all missed it. I said Mary gave despite criticism. See, a lot of us, watch this, you drop the ball. As soon as you face criticism, you can't handle it. You want to leave, you want to drop out, you want to pull back your service. As soon as folks start crit criticizing, you say, oh, I can't do it. But can you handle it? You see, watch this. You, you want to know why Holler feels a great boxer? Because he can take a hit and a bite. <laughs> you don't ready. Ask somebody the question, can you handle it? Watch it, watch it. Speaking of boxing, watch this. I never forget, never forget. The, um, they were interviewing Mike Tyson, and he was, um, he was getting ready to box Buster Douglas. And there was a lot of, lot of commentary going back and forth. Both around. You know, Buster Douglas said, I'm going to take Mike out of here. I'm going to take him out second round. He's going down. So finally, they got back to, to Mike Tyson and said, well, Buster Douglas said, he's going to take you out second round. They said, Mike, what you say about that? Mike said, you know, everybody got a plan until they get hit. <laughs> I said, you know, I said, he made a good point there. He said, he said, I said, whoa, that's deep. That's deep. He said, everybody got a plan until they get hit. Watch this. This is deep. He said, America boasts about being great. And I, and I really believe that this is a great nation. But guess what? 9-11-2001, America got hit. And guess what? This nation panicked. In fact, you couldn't even find the president of the United States. He wasn't even on the radar. He was missing. They couldn't even find him. Well, where's the president at? 
He was hiding somewhere. <laughs> he couldn't find him for, for hours. I mean, the chief of the country. America got hit. Watch this. The question is, how do you handle it under pressure? Watch this, watch this. This is really, watch this. Y'all remember a few years ago when Kobe was experiencing all that stuff? When he bought his wife that $7 million diamond? All he had to do was say was sorry for, for nothing. Somebody say amen. <laughs> Just say sorry. <laughs> a $7 million diamond. Just say you're sorry. Lord have mercy. <laughs> watch this. But you know what I like? What I was inspired by? Do you know? I went home. I was All that stuff was going on in his life. Do you know that Kobe came on the court and was scorned? In the midst of all the stuff they were saying about him, he was, he was on, he was, in fact, they won. He was shooting three pointers, and I said, wow, he's functioning under pressure. Some folk can't take it under pressure. They can't take it under criticism. They get all this mouth until they get hit. Mary gave, I love it, I love it. Mary gave despite criticism. And by the way, watch this. You want to really find out who's a leader? Watch this. You can determine, you got it. Watch when, when a storm hit. See, when storms hit, you'll find out who's a leader. You see, wimps run. Come on through, McKenna. Wimps, see, you'll really find out who's a real leader. When the storm hit. Because leadership rises to the top. Come on through McCann. Good God Almighty. In the midst of a storm, leadership will always rise to the top. You'll find out who's a real leader. See, watch this, watch this. Win is never wine. And wine is never win. Y'all ain't get that. Oh, Jesus. Well, 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 let me go to my seat now. Watch this. I'm almost done. Here it is. Somebody shout, the proof is in. The sacrifice. I got one thing I want to say to the sisters. Watch this. And this is real deep. Tell somebody this is real deep. Watch this. In verse 3, here's what the text says. Sisters, is a sister falling asleep? Wake up. Say, wake up, sister. Don't you miss this one. Mary took a pound of very costly oil of spikenard. Watch this. Anointed the feet of Jesus, don't you hear what I want to show you, and wiped his feet with her hair. Ah! I tell you what, sister. All right, all right. Even, let's use your hair. Well, even if it ain't yours, let's use what you got. <laughs> Unbelievable. Praise the Lord. Come on here. Even if it ain't yours, is that right? Let's, let's use what you got. What's this? What? Emma, Emma, this Mary got down. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Got on, his, got on her knees because, watch it, she took her hair and wiped his feet. How many women you know go get down on the floor and get dirty for Jesus, hallelujah, and wipe Jesus' feet? Come on through McCann. Barbara, you wouldn't be a good example, amen. You, you, no, you, you ain't got nothing going right there. <laughs> I'm gonna use what you got. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Let me show you something. I'm done. I'm finished. Watch this. Here's what I want to show you, y'all. I did my research. I did my research. Watch this. This is deep. Look at me. Watch this. Check it for yourself. According, watch this, to biblical tradition, a woman's hair, watch this y'all, was symbolic of her glory. You missed it. A woman's hair was symbolic of her glory. Watch this, watch this. What Mary was doing, 
she was giving all her glory to Jesus hallelujah you want to see miracles in your life give all the glory to Jesus when God bless you give the glory to Jesus you want your miracle give the glory to Jesus hallelujah you want your boo or boaz give the glory to Jesus I've learned it pays to give all the glory to Jesus the proof is in the sacrifice Everybody stand. Watch this. She got on her knees, took her hair, unwind her hair, and begin to wipe the feet of Jesus' Palestine feet that had touched the soils of the earth that had been dirty. How many folk you know? make that kind of sacrifice the proof is in the sacrifice there may be somebody here today you don't have a church home you're looking for one and you feel that God has called you under the covering of this ministry called the St. Luke Church if that is your wish, to come under the covering of this ministry, the proof is in the sacrifice. Come from where you are to the front of this church. Break loose from where you are. Break code from where you are. The proof is in the sacrifice. Drop your guards. Say to the church, I need God. I need the Savior in my life. I'm tired of running the wrong direction. The proof is in.